Okay, and the final games here for the regular season. I just want to get to the postseason now, so I can try to get done by the weekend with year two. Have a good fresh start for Need for Speed on Tuesday. So here we go, Pro Bowl voting. Matt Ryan, Marcel Reese, Jonathan Baldwin, Okay, is there anyone else different? Nope. I guess I can do one last scouting. I don't even remember who I scouted and who I didn't. Um, I guess I could take a look at these guys, I guess. Just trying to do this quickly. Guess these are all the people that I've scouted so far. Alright, I might put Tim Tebow in. Might Start Matt Ryan up for like a quarter or two. Try to keep him in the Pro Bowl. Probably take him out. Prep middle of second quarter of the halftime. Excited to have you on board with us for this division clash between the Jets and the Patriots. And Chris, when the Jets and Patriots get together, it always promises to be a good one. Now, this Jets-Patriots rivalry goes back uh, a long way beyond your typical division rivalry because of all the history with the coaches and the players who went back and forth between the teams over the years, this is an extra special matchup each and every time, and it's one that we really look forward to. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time, and we've got two teams really ready to rumble. He makes it to the 22. Webb was there for the stop. And coming to the field, the quarterback, who hopes to lead this offense to victory in this game. And as we look at the key offensive players, Hakeem Nix out of North Carolina is the go-to deep threat. And that's important when we talk about a balanced attack all the time. And if you can't stretch the field, you're in danger of becoming extremely one-dimensional. Akeem Dix is an exciting player that gives the offense that home run threat. 
And Grizzly is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. As we introduce the key players on defense, we look no further than Dominican Sue out of Nebraska. How do you do? He's a dominant force on the D-line. Yeah, I guess this guy, for such a young player, is as polished as you are. He has the instincts out there of a 10-year pro, and players like him that can come in and dominate the defensive line so mm. soon in their career, well, they're really once-in-a-generation type players. So now the quarterback comes onto the field, and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. Here are the offensive starters, and it's a unit that has no shortage of big-time weapons. Chris Whiteout Deshaun Jackson from Cal might be the most exciting player in football right now. Yeah, when he gets his hands on the ball, you can hear the crowd gasp as if they're expecting something incredible to happen, and a lot of times it does. Now, I haven't seen many guys come in the league and make as many big plays as Deshaun Jackson has. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. The coaches have to be disappointed with that effort. Yeah, their poor defense didn't even have time to go over and get a glass of water. All of a sudden, the punter's back on the field and the defense has to go play again. And they keep the offense out there on fourth down. He makes it to the 42. Orlando McClain was there to bring him down. So the Rock sits at the 42. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. And the tackle was made by Kendrick Lewis. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. <laughs> He's tackled. Oh, well, there goes Mark Ingram. Four yard line by McGrath. Now we have a first down and ten to go. Ball on the 44. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Rolando McClay was there for the stop. It's second down and six. Ball's on the 41. We're looking for a man. Oh wow. Orlando McClay was there to bring him down. No gain on that completion. Goes through his progression. Steps and throws to the left side. He's wrestled down around the 30 yard line by Gilchrist. On the ground, up the middle. Gashes the defense for a pickup of nine. The halfback with the carry. The stop was made by Charles Tillman. You could just tell he was not going to the ground until he got past that first down marker. I really like the determination in this guy in picking up first downs. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line by McGrath. We've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. The Patriots, nothing. The Jets, nothing. Makes the throw over the middle. He powers it to the end zone for a touchdown. The attempted pick comes up empty, and it goes for a huge game. Uh, he has a reputation for going after the ball aggressively, and sometimes he's going to get burned. You just have to hope that the safety has your back on a play like that. And that can't make the safety too happy, putting them on an island out there. Yeah, I guess, but it really kind of goes with the territory when you have an aggressive corner. I think most of the time a safety can respect that. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. There for the stop. They pick up two yards. They go with the toss. Watch out, he's got space. 
And the tackle was made by Taylor Mays. Woo, that looked like a race car driver going into turn three right there. When he gets on the edge and gets that shoulder lowered, look out. And he's crushed as he lets it go. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. Still looking for an open man. <laughs> Carson Palmer. Who? Oh, wait. Who's the quarterback now? Phil Manning Dawson. Takes the delayed handoff. The stop was made by OC Human Europe. Yeah, and all it does is just add a few yards to the punt, which is not bad in this situation. Very seldom in this league are you going to pick up the first down in that third and very long situation. Make a conservative call, add a few yards to the punt. Jackson takes it at the 28. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. Yeah, that certainly wasn't one of his best efforts there. Maybe if he would have gotten a little more help from his blockers, he could have broken one out of there. You know, sometimes it just takes one good block to create a seam to get one up the field. That's a two-yard gain. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. That'll give him 3,000 yards this season through the air. Handoff up the middle. He's dropped down around the 41-yard line by number 59. Oh my god. And they get to it. He gets the sack and the offensive lineman didn't have much of a chance. <laughs> he delivered a perfect swim move and he was into the backfield in a flash. That's a kind of his signature move, if you will. And he's had a lot of success using it to get to the quarterback. And he didn't look like the quarterback even saw it coming. Yeah, he gets back there so fast that even if you have quick reaction time, you're still gonna get sacked. Jackson was the intended receiver on the play. As a quarterback, you have to go through your reads. That was his first look on that play, and he shouldn't have stayed with it that long. That was a bad decision. And the call for the fair catch at the 17. out to his right. Second down now following the incomplete pass. Ops for a short throw. Oh my God. A good job there by the quarterback to fit that ball in there with good coverage. Yeah, and the defensive back didn't really do anything wrong there. The quarterback just made a good throw. We'll see if he starts to play him a bit more aggressively, maybe initiate some contact and get that receiver out of his comfort zone going forward. He loads up for the deep throw. It's a pick. Yeah, Prince on the Camara. He's brought down right around the 48 yard line by Williams. Brian will hand it off. He's tackled around the 46 yard line by McGrath.
throws it to the middle. And the tackle was made by Rolando McClain. The completed pass goes for a gain of seven. It appears to be short. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just blowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. It's up and it's good. He put just enough on that one to coax it through. Yeah, maybe not a perfect kick there, but if it goes over the crossbar and between the uprights, it doesn't matter how far, they're still putting three points on the board. The Jets suffered an interception on their last possession. Has a man short to his left. He's wrestled down right around the 46-yard line by Bird. Short throw to the right. Clay Matthews was there to bring him down. Williams gains about four yards there. Top down the oh my god. Wide open. Still running. Touchdown Jets. Akeem Nix has so many great skills, great hands, great route runner, and he can make the tough catch in traffic. What a valuable weapon he is. Lee Tiffin adds the extra point. Can't believe Phil Dawson's actually making all these accurate throws. Collects it at the seven. Knocked out of bounds at the 28 yard line. The Patriots take the field looking to put together a scoring drive. They came away with three the last time up. Looking for a big gain down the middle. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. Surveys the field. Fires a strike. Oh, come on. Jackson was the intended receiver. Passes it over the middle of the field. Jeez. None of my guys are catching it right now. During that last series as they go three and out. And it really looked like the defense won the battle up front. The big guys controlling the line of scrimmage made the difference there. Wilson will start his return at 24. Dance to a bye on the 34 and his stop. Butler was there for the stop. He is wanting to go deep with it. Are you kidding me? And running strong. Anytime you blitz, you're going to leave yourself a bit vulnerable in the secondary. Somebody's going to be open or at least have you got to be kidding me. How is he getting so wide open? Line can pick it up. You're in trouble. And the kick is good. So after that kick, the score is now. The Jets, 10. The Patriots, 10. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. The stop was made by Kendrick Lewis. He's looking down the middle. Oh my god, how many drops do I have this game?